It is the touchline here on Y two five four. You are just joining us. You can follow the conversation on social media at Y two five four channel. The hashtag is touchline Y two five four. I'm Robert Osoro. Maxwell Wasike is still here with us, and we are hosting Athanas Obango, who is running for Football Kenya Federation neck member for Nairobi National Executive Council member for the Nairobi County region. Coach, we went to break when we were talking about the three key pillars you are running in for presidency. That's infrastructure development, professional management of grassroots leagues, as well as transparency and accountability. The last one there, transparency and accountability, is what every candidate usually talks about, but they don't get to actualize it. For you, how is that in your heart? Probably they don't know. They, they always talk about mm. transparency and accountability. Yeah. Uh, not knowing that uh, how to be uh, to be transparent and how to be accountable. Yes. So that is the that is the biggest problem there. When people <laughs> yeah. always people talk about mm. transparency and accountability, yes. mm -hmm. probably they don't uh, they don't grasp what it means. Yes. So is is uh, transparency is. Uh, I've come to learn that you have to, um, to have to be transparent in in whatever. You don't have deals whereby people don't know the figure, people don't know mm -hmm. what you are receiving, what what what. You 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 bury everything into confidentiality. Mm -hmm. That anything you do, you don't want anybody to know. Yes. Uh, accountability is. I received ten shillings. I used five shillings. I still have. I, got I still have five shillings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have to write down. This is what I have. Yeah. There used to be a guy called Humphrey Masharia. He was the secretary of uh, Abadeas mm -hmm. branch yeah. during the days of KFF. Yeah. So this guy was tasked uh, to go with Arambe Stars to, I think, Namibia or Botswana. He was the leader of delegation. Yeah. He was, he was given a substantial amount to, to take care of. So when this guy came back, he went to the federation and went to the federation accountant and told him, this is what I've used, yeah. and this is what I've, wow. uh, the, what, I've, what, I've, what, I've what I've what I'm left with. Yes. Can you bank this money and uh, take this report with you? Yeah. He had issues with the, with, right from the president. <laughs> Why are you trying to <laughs> unmask us? Yeah. Eh? Mm. In terms of so accountability is about mm. you. I've, I, we've done it at, at Extreme Sports, we've done it, we have done it in, even in several organizations. That is the same thing that ought to have been done during African Cup of Nations. You remember the it. government yeah. pumped a lot of that millions. Is it. So, you see, you, you, you don't say that uh, 11 million went into administration, administrative costs. Break what, it down. What are these administrative, administrative costs? You pay this, pay this. You have to put everything in black and Can white. we say that that is the reason as to why the government has been at loggerheads with FKF. But this because before, before PS Ambassador Kirimi Kaberia left Minister of Sports, he had sort of a cold war with the current president, Nick, over his persistent uh, uh, campaign that, you know, Mwendwa should uh, account for the funds utilized in the The government gave them money that ought to have uh, facilitated them until the entire tournament was completed. But they exited at, at the <laughs> round of 16, at, at the group stage, sorry. Mm. So, which means for government, they believed Bado Kuna Pesa. You see, the PS is the chief accounting officer of, the, of that particular ministry. Yes. He's a chief accounting officer, and uh, uh, when he requests, when we see the federation gave a budget, yeah. when they gave a budget, uh, it was approved, I think. It runs through all those processes. And remember, Maxwell, this is taxpayers' money. Sure. Yeah? It is your tax, my tax, and everybody tax. So when I ask you to account for how you use the money, because when I, I tell you, you ask me that you want 300 shillings for the period I'm going to stay in a particular place, yeah. and I end up staying for one day, and I come and tell you that uh, the 300 shillings is, is uh, I don't have it anymore. But and then I ask you, but you stayed for one day. <laughs> eh? You stayed for one day, uh, and you were meant to stay for three days. So I strongly believe that there is money left. It is not there. So accountability is 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 is, is one of the things that is. It's it's it. You see, you see these kind of things. They are in the media. 
corporates look at them to read about them eh? yes do you expect these people to come on board to 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 support you when you cannot even account the government money probably they they, they used the wrong accounting procedures to to come up with a report but i cannot speak uh, i cannot talk about uh, the the 250 million because i am not privy to anything that uh, happened to that money so it's upon the federation to maybe to to put their house in order and probably uh, explain to the government how they spend the money now that you differ ideologically with the current system the current federation in case you get elected and it happens that you know the current president would have retained defended his seat how do you seek burying the hatchet and working together for the good of the game? Mm. It's all about burying the hatchet. Eh? I've never had problems with Nick Mandwa. Yeah. I only have a problem with the, the way he has managed a few issues. Eh? If you look at... Uh, sometimes you don't just... You have to give credit where it is due. Nick has tried his bit. Yeah. Probably he needs... That's why I said initially that he needs people like us who can even push him to maybe do better you're trying to insinuate that he's a good man with wrong advisors around him uh, i've known nick for many years he's not somebody i've known today or the other day he, he's somebody we, we, in fact we we fought the previous regime uh, of hatri with him together, together. In the same camp. we were together in the same camp mm -hmm. trying to to bring sanity in football when mm -hmm. Hatri had decided to to turn fkf into a limited country company a limited company mm -hmm. So we, we also said that we, we have to fight to the bitter end. We fought. We only parted ways that when, when he decided to support somebody and uh, I could not uh, imagine uh, uh, managing football in this country. Yeah? That is where we differed. But uh, as a ma we just differed as a matter of principles. But probably he, if he took it to the next level, that one I don't know. I don't have any personal grudge with anybody in football. Yeah. I don't have any personal grudge. Even my, my decision to contest, mm. probably it might not go away with some of the people in football, but it is my decision. I have a right. On, a on, on that note, you mm. are running as an independent candidate. You are not affiliated to any presidential candidate. Is it because nobody has convinced you of what they have good for Kenyan football? Or is it because that most of them don't have anything at heart to offer for the best of Kenyan football? You see, mm. I have to look at uh, somebody who can share the same vision in regard to what I want to do. Yes. If it makes, if, if, if it Nick Mwanda will, will buy my idea of, mm. of what I want to do for Nairobi, yes. I'll work with him. Mm -hmm. If, uh, if uh, somebody else, Nick Musonya, tells me, I, I have a better thing for you than what you have. Eh? Yeah. Well, well, but at the end of the day, we are all here to, 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 to run football. <laughs> we are not here to, to, to go there for personal gains or whatever. Some of us, we've really suffered uh, in terms of uh, how we're managing clubs, running football, administratively, we've gone through a lot. Yes. We faced bans. We, 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 we've gone through a lot. But you see, right now, we need to bring everybody on board. Even whoever wins should bring... You see, there is no school of wisdom. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is no school of wisdom. You, you, you just be wise enough and say, I need Maxwell, despite him losing the elections. Eh? Yeah. But there is something he can offer in football management. Mm -hmm. yeah? bring, no, nobody knew that Raila would shake Uru's hand and say that... Uh, uh, let they put the country first yes before before themselves yeah. and that is why we, what you want to do is that put the country and put football first before your personal interest yeah that is what we are going to work but anybody who will convince me that uh, he can do better in terms of what i can uh, what i can do for grassroots football in nairobi be yeah. it nick mendra be yeah. it anybody who will convince me that is so so far none has convinced you so far talk to any and, uh, right now you're still as, neutral. As an independent candidate, yeah. I continue with talking to a few delegates who, have, who know me, people who know me, and I, I still I, I keep on engaging people who, who know what I can do. Yeah. But I have no problem working with anybody who will be elected. If it is the incumbent, it is uh, who... I've seen, I've seen at the top level those aspirants raising concerns over lack of same level playing ground. Are you also holding that opinion or do you think things are different? 
in terms of modalities I, that have I, been I've put been in place. I've been following up uh, what the electoral code is doing in terms of trying to clean the. They're trying to clean up the those those small anomalies. Uh, those kind of you see, first of all, they had restricted people to to into, contest, into contesting yeah. that you have to get nomination. You can, you have to be endorsed by voter. I think they've relaxed that. I think they've made it very very clear that uh, mm -hmm. it is now easy for anybody to to get endorsed by a club or any club or any association or affiliated to to the federation. Yeah. But uh, my surprise also that some other organizations have, have been uh, blacklisted, like the Kenya Football Coaches Association. I don't think if they have been recognized, mm. uh, the Kenya Football Welfare Association, I think that one uh, is there. Yeah. And also the various clubs from the county. And uh, I think that one is okay because, like, uh, previously I, somebody like me could not contest because of those kind of uh, uh, roadblocks that have, mm. been, that have been put. But now, if they can ensure that they listen to all the grievances of clubs who, who feel they have been locked out because of some flimsy reasons. And you see, I just appeal to the, the current office and the electoral board. You see, you'll be judged by what you do. Yeah. You'll be judged by what you do. If, if, it is not difficult to level a playing ground uh, for everybody to, partic to play. And at the end of the day, we'll have winners and losers. Yes. And football, uh, football has to go on. So irrespective of the, whether somebody wins or not. For us, we have participated in several elections, won some elections, lost some elections, but I've, I've still been in football, you see? So people look at, it's not a matter of life and So death. it's not vested interest because mm. uh, we also know that uh, in at, football... Look at, look at all the candidates, uh, look at all the candidates uh, uh, vying now. Uh, ask them, what has he been doing for the last four years or the last two years? Where has he been? Most of them have not been in football. Even those ones vying for the neck, neck membership. Yes. None of them will ever find them in a football. Me, myself, you'll, you'll find me in the whole of Nairobi. Yes. Today you'll find me in Kangemi. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow you'll find me in Kibira. Tomorrow you'll find me in Toyoyo. You'll find me monitoring grass but football, football is this powerful and, and is I, didn't, I didn't i don't even choose whether it's a, it is the league i was running yes. so long as even it's the federation league yeah. i go and monitor i go to babadogo i spend all, most of my time at babadogo on, on weekends yes watching football there so F football is this powerful that most people use it as a stepping stone to politics we saw alfred sambo the current webuye west mm -hmm. member of parliament mm -hmm. he served as a fc leopards chairman and fkf supreme at some point the late Dan Omino, you know, uh, the former Gatanga member of parliament, Peter Kenneth, and we also hearing that some currently vying tend to use the position as a ladder to politics in case they win. I think it's the wrong thing to use uh, football as a ladder. I mean, it, 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 it goes down to the popularity of the game and the, uh, the, and the passion. And the passion people have for the game. So people, look, it's the easiest way to get popular and also to, for people to be able to, to see your relevance. So if you look at even Clement Gachanja was the Federation uh, President, Kenneth Matiba was the, uh, the late Kenneth Matiba, yes. uh, late Kenneth Matiba, Clement Gachanja, all of them, they were, they were football uh, chairmen. They ended up in politics. Yeah. So this is something we need to change. If, that if culture want, has got to change. If you want to go to politics, take the route of politics. Gachanja <laughs> <laughs> eh? But using this, as a, but it is the clubs and the officials, people who manage football on on day to day basis, yeah. who allow this to happen. How by endorsing their candidates? Endorsing candidates. Should, Maybe because of financial muscles. We should we should uh, we should look at individuals and, and you see, like when you want to elect somebody, you look at the track record. What has this guy done for football? That he, now he wants to. Bring on board. You bring on board. Mm. There are some people who are vying for presidency. Mm. There's nothing to write home. There's nothing to write home about them. The, the, like I've asked you, how many, the, even the people vying for the neck, neck membership, apart, apart yes. from maybe one, uh, my, my friend, uh, my, Michael Omo, Michael Omo. Who, who I know has been in football. Yes. Yeah? He, I, if, I, if, I, if I face Michael Omo and he, he, he beats me, I'll say, um, Honorable concession. Yeah. yeah. But if I lose to somebody who has not even uh, given a team a ball, yeah. eh, eh, somebody even be, besides football, you, you, you have to even look at uh, how compassion you are in terms of uh, even, even 
working for the for the for the football players. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Just recently, I was uh, I was I was the limelight trying to help uh, Martin Balamala. Yeah. Nobody has even uh, come up with the, the football people. Nobody has come to the rescue of that boy up to today. How, how is he doing, by the? He's improving. Even hmm. after this show, I'm going to visit him. Mm -hmm. It is something so sad that people people want to be in positions and yet they they they, they can offer nothing. Uh, they can offer nothing. Yeah. Uh, be in a position. Oh, 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 Bango, I'm divided over the opinion of Mati Limbalambal. He's a player I celebrated personally. Mm. One, does it mean that, you know, those people who get glorified during, you know, their prime times get to be forgotten when they're struggling? Because I think we can name Congestina Ching. She was glorified during her heydays as a, a boxing uh, professional in the ring. Right now, she's in Tata's. Things are shambolic for her. No one is coming to her rescue. Martin Imbalambala as well, her blindness, except for yourself and a few others, my friend Modo Kimani, coach FC Leopards, right now who coming to his rescue. Se at the same time, in the same breath, contrary, how comes right now you are being celebrated, you are earning very well, how comes you can't plan yourself properly for what looks like a future that you can't tell Maybe it will be characterized by difficult circumstances or smooth sailing. I'm divided because people are asking, Martin Imanabala played very well for FC Leopards. He ought to have prepared himself for the future. Others saying, sympathizing with this state, saying that now that he was glorified during his eight days, he needs to be helped right now because he's struggling. You see... Uh, are you sharing my, my, my thought I'm of being thought. I'm divided thought, though? Yeah. Yes. Uh, as the president of the Kenya Association of Former Footballers, eh? yeah. as part, part of our strategic plan in terms of uh, wanting to help uh, players who have retired, and uh, it's a question of uh, probably he made bad choices in his life, mm, that's how maybe he ended up that way. And a human being is a human being, yes. he, nobody is, uh, everybody is vulnerable to making mistakes. You can tell me that you are perfect. Eh? Today you'll be fine. Tomorrow, look at uh, the the Kenyan player who was playing American football. Uh, don't go. Yes.